Hello everybody and welcome back to my wood shop. Um, today I want to talk a little bit about waxing your furniture. So I've got this pie set here that I've been working on. Um, I've already got finish on it, I've sanded it, everything. So, so what I'm getting ready to do is put this paste wax on it. There's multiple brands. Um, this Min Wax just happens to be what the what I had on hand right now, so that's what I'm gonna use. So we're gonna rub that on and then rub it right back off. So purpose of using this wax is you can see we got a little bit of a dull finish here, and most of that's because of where I reduced the uh, varnish. Um, and whenever you go to rub out with your fluorox steel wool on that final coat, it's going to uh, dull it out a little bit. And some people like that finish. In this particular case, they want a little bit of a higher sheen, so we're going to go ahead and wax it. And that wax actually protects our finish a little bit. So. Um, this is a great thing to use um, on that dining room table that you've had for 10, 20 years that really just needs a little bit of cleaning up and such. So um, it's great for antiques, new builds, anything like that. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started on the processes of applying some paste wax. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, our crown molding here. So with this stuff, you don't want it to dry before you rub it out. So we're gonna take probably section from about here over, we're gonna do this entire crown. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna grab a little bit on a rag here. Um, I mean, just get a generous amount on there. So you can use just an old t-shirt, white t-shirt, um, kind of cloth like that. So we're going to take it and we're going to start rubbing it in. I'm going to go in a circular motion here. That way it gets down in the any pores that are in that finish and in the wood there. So rub that in real good. A fairly heavy pressure just to get it all pushed in there. You're just wanting to make sure you got the entire surface covered and you can tell that by getting at an angle of which the light comes across it real well and you can actually see that buildup of wax on there. So once we got that put on, we're going to take a clean cloth and go ahead and wipe this off. So when I'm wiping this off, I'm going to go in the direction of the grain because you can actually create some swirl marks in your wax if you're going in that circular direction like we did when we applied it. The heavier pressure you put when you're wiping it off, the higher sheen you're going to get. Um, so that'll just be something to play around with a little bit, see what different pressures do to your wax. So this is rubbing out pretty good. Um, the harder and quicker you rub it, creates heat. So heat actually lays down the wax really well. So we like to go at it fairly quickly to help it get that nice sheen. So I think we've got this rubbed out pretty good. The way I check to make sure that I've got it rubbed out and got all that excess off of the surface is what I like to call the wipe test. So I'll take my finger, wipe across grain, get to an angle where that light comes in and you can see that shine. And if you see your finger mark in that wax, you know you've still got a little bit of work to do 
as far as wiping it off. So this looks pretty good. Um, I just like to wipe it one more time after I do the wipe test. I don't know if you can tell the difference in sheen from my crown here to my flat frame here, um, but it gives a little bit of sheen. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little more and do probably this little corner here or something and uh, that way maybe you can see the difference in sheen once I'm done. and about down to here is wax. So I can tell standing here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but uh, so this here and this, you can see quite a bit of difference in it. Um, this has a much greater sheen to it rather than this. And also a big thing is the feel of it. So this here is super smooth. I mean, almost like glass. This here is, I mean, it's smooth from rubbing out with the steel wool, but it just doesn't quite get that real glassy feel that uh, your wax will give it. So here it is, completely waxed. Um, <clears throat> it's got a real nice smooth feeling, um, a little bit of a sheen to it. Hopefully, there it is, um, quick and easy. Uh, if you got any questions, just leave me a comment, I'll be sure to answer. Um, and go ahead and check out my other two videos. I've got one uh, for the beginning woodworker as far as mentioning lumber and then another on hand cut dovetails. They're a little bit lengthy but uh, I think they're worth the watch. Um, so I'm just starting this whole YouTube thing so if you like what I did here go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, Leave me a comment on what you want to see next time, um, so that way I can have a little bit of an idea of what you all want to see. So, thank you for watching, 